Moin Moin from Hamburg. I'm Josh for MTS Applications at Trinamic. In this video, the PI auto tuning tool for field oriented control we will be introduced. Closed loop motors driven by field oriented control offers high precision and dynamics. However, for optimal performance, tuning of the controller and the PI parameters is essential. For bring up, the Trinamic PI tuning tool offers auto tuning capabilities as well as manual tuning assistance. For this demonstration, the setup consists of a BLDC motor, which is attached via an encoder to the TMCM 1617 and a power supply. Ideally, the setup is tuned within the application and the motor can rotate freely. We assume that the initial configuration has been done. So in the TMCL IDE, the PI tuning tool is available from the tuning group. At top, the configuration for the auto tuning can be set, while at the bottom, the values are visualized. During the PI tuning, three loops will be tuned. First, the FOC torque loop, secondly, the velocity loop, and third, the position loop. These three loops are cascaded, and thus, as first step, the current loop as the most inner loop is tuned. In the step settings, the target current is applied according to the motor rated current and operation point in the application. Then the start button is used to begin the auto tuning. During the tuning, current step responses are automatically applied and the PI parameters are adapted. The resulting current is displayed and constantly updated. As only flux current is applied, the motor is not moving during the step. After suitable PI values with minimum error have been determined, the auto-tuning process for the current loop is finished. As second step, the velocity PI parameters will be tuned. In the FOC control, the velocity loop is built on top of the torque loop. In the PI tuning tool, change the tuning mode to velocity. In the velocity RAM settings, the velocity RAM can be enabled and the acceleration can be set according to the application or left at default. Then, set the target velocity the motor will be tuned to. The signal generator will generate target step responses from the motor while constantly checking against the PI parameter. First, the P and then the I per meter will be tuned. After the error has been minimized, the auto tuning is complete. As third and final step, the position controller is being tuned. The position loop is cascaded and is dependent from the velocity loop settings, including the RAM settings. For this reason, the RAM setting is only configurable in the inner velocity loop. In the auto-tuning sequence, the motor will perform target steps as configured here. With a 4096 pulse encoder, a value of 4096 will be equal to a one motor revolution. Again, this should be set according to the actual application. Then start the auto-tuning. The p-value will be automatically adjusted until optimal settings have been derived. The resulting PI values from the auto-tuning process can be tested or adjusted in the manual mode. In this mode, continuous step responses for the position, velocity or current values can be controlled and the resulting actual values can be monitored. In this mode, there is an option to set the sample rate as well as the number of samples within one measurement cycle. When starting the manual mode, the data is read from the module and loaded consecutively to the TMCL IDE. The PI parameters can be adjusted on the fly and the inner loop such as the current values can be monitored. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the step response of the PI values by default, as well as the PI values derived by the auto-tuning. The Trinamic auto-tuning tool determines PI parameters and optimizes them for your application. 
The Auto Tuning tool is rolling out for all Trinamic products with integrated servo controllers. Check Trinamic.com for more details.